Okay. Now the open tube manometer shown below contains liquid mercury, right? What is the pressure of the gas in the bulb? So manometer is used to measure the pressure of gases. Okay, now what is the pressure of gas in the bulb? And also B, what is the gauge pressure? Okay, now how do we do this? This one now, first you know that manometer, we are dealing with the pressure of gases and liquid. Okay, let's say that this is the mercury here. This one, okay, let's put it uh, in pink color. This is the mercury. Okay, now you say that you see that this one, uh, first is we have to find where is the point where the same pressure acts. Okay, now the level of the liquid surface is here and then here. Okay, now you know that in liquid, uh, as long as two points that is at the same height, yi yang gao du, uh, same level, in the same liquid, the same type of liquid, then you have the same pressure. Okay, so if you look at this manometer, where is the point that has the same uh, pressure? Is let's label here point A, just located at the surface. Okay, here, and then you draw a horizontal line until here, point B. So point A and point B has the same pressure. Okay, so in other words, what pressure is acting at point A? There's one pressure acting at point A, this one. This is the gas pressure, P gas. Okay, you see it's connected to gas, right? So it push it until this point here. And the pressure acting at point B, there are two. First is the atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the liquid. Okay, I write P at the end. And then you have another pressure, which is due to this like extended mercury, this, this one here, the weight of this part of the mercury, okay, is 60 cm high, okay? So you have this pressure also acting at point B. So I write P uh, mercury, okay? Now, to solve this, let's equate the pressure. So we know that P pressure A equals to pressure at B, right? Now, pressure A is the pressure of gas acting. So pressure gas, I write down. Pressure gas equals to pressure B is the pressure of the atm plus the pressure of mercury okay so as long as you find the 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 point where the same pressure acts then you solve from there all right and then pressure of the gas is where you want to is what you want to find right the pressure of the gas now pressure of atm is 1 times 10 to the power of 5 pascal to be accurate is like 101325 pascal but let's just use 1 times 10 power 5 for simplicity, okay? So plus pressure of the mercury. Now pressure of mercury, we have learned that the pressure of liquid is H rho G, right? The H times density and also the gravitation acceleration. So H is 0 0.6, 60 cm, okay? So density of mercury is 13600. And then you multiply it by 9.8. Okay, so equals to 1799.68 Pascal. Okay, so this is the pressure of the gas in it. Now, B, what is the gauge, the gauge pressure? The gauge pressure, how do we calculate the gauge pressure? Now remember, gauge pressure is the pressure, the difference between the pressure of the gas and the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so in this case, the pressure of gas is this one, 179968. So you take the difference of P gas, you minus out the pressure of the atmospheric. Okay, so it's 179968 minus one times 10 power of five. And you get 79968, okay? Now, this is a positive. So sometimes you will see gauge pressure, there is positive and negative. Okay, in this case, it is positive because the pressure of the gas is higher than the pressure of the atmosphere. So if the pressure of the gas is lower than the atmospheric pressure, then you get a negative. Okay, you get a negative. So remember that for gauge, gauge pressure is the difference between the pressure of gas and 
the atmospheric pressure. So you always take the pressure of the whatever gas minus the atmospheric pressure. Okay, this is a formula. Always take the gas minus uh, atm. So if this one is lower than the atmospheric pressure, of course you would get a negative. And the answer should be uh, comes with the negative. You have to write the negative inside. Okay. Yeah? <clears throat> now. Okay, you take down this one, you jot down this one, and then I move on to question number two, example number two. Okay, finish. If you haven't finished, you can snap it. Okay, let's look at uh, question number two. Example two, the open tube manometer shown below contains liquid mercury, all right? So what is the pressure of the gas in the bulk? And what is the gauge, the gauge pressure, great? So this is uh, almost the same question as the, the one before. Okay, so first find where is the pressure that has the same, uh, where's the location that has the same pressure, okay? So since this is the same liquid, okay? The same type of liquid, only one type here. So point A, equals to point B. So point A is here and it has to be at the same level at point B. Now, what pressure is acting at point A? Okay, this is gas here. So there are two because first is the pressure of the gas pressing down. Second is the pressure of this liquid 40 cm. Okay, you see this 40 cm liquid mercury is also exerting a pressure down. Okay, so two pressures acting at point A. And what is the pressure acting at point B? So you see point B is exposed, right? It's exposed to the environment. So this is the ATM pressure. And then these two, they are balanced. So P ATM is equals to P gas plus the mercury. Okay, now P ATM, you know that that one is... Uh, Let's rearrange the formula. So P gas equals to P mercury. <clears throat> Wait. P gas equals to P atm minus P mercury. Okay, so equals to one times 10 to the power of five Pascal minus again, same. So 0 0.40 times density of mercury and gravitational acceleration. All right, so at the end, you will get 46688 Pascal, the pressure of the gas. So calculate the gauge pressure. Gauge pressure, so we take the pressure of gas minus out the pressure of atmospheric equals to 46688 minus one times 10 to the power five and you get 
a negative, right? You get, get a negative because this pressure of gas is below, is smaller than the atmospheric pressure. So you get a negative and 53312 Pascal. Okay. So if you take a look at the gauge pressure, it's actually equals to this one here, the pressure of the mercury. Right? It's the difference between the ATM and pressure gas. So the different the only that the only pressure that is creating the difference is, is this one. The pressure of the mercury, the height, the H H rho G. This is the gauge pressure. Okay, we can jot down this one and we'll look at the next one. Okay, sometimes the question, uh, uh, they want you to express in uh, millimeter, merc millimeter mercury, not Pascal. Okay, let's say like sometimes the question wants you to express in uh, millimeter Hg. So you know that atmospheric pressure, there are a few units for uh, atmospheric pressure, right? So the first one is like 101325 Pascal. This is the... Uh, uh, the more accurate one compared to the 10 power of 5. And then you can also write 760 millimeter Hg. This is uh, Hg is mercury, la. 760 millimeter mercury or 76 cm mercury. Okay, or 1 atm. So these are all different units uh, for atmospheric pressure. They are all the same. All right, so sometimes if the question wants you to, to express in millimeter mercury or centimeter mercury then you change this one like this one right p atm is 76 cm mercury then you minus the pressure of mercury this one is how much this one is you you just look at the height la. okay the height is six uh, 40 cm right 40 cm 40 cm so it's 40 cm mercury okay 40 cm mercury, so you, you don't have to do the, the H rho G, you don't have to do the calculation because the answer you want to put it in uh, millimeter or centimeter mercury. Okay, so this one you just minus 76, um, 76 minus 40, so 36, 36 cm mercury, and that is the answer. Okay, 36 cm mercury or 46688 Pascal is the same thing. Okay, let's look at uh, the next example. So, uh, if you haven't finished, you can snap it.
Okay. The YouTube manometer shown below is filled with a fluid of unknown density. So the height difference between the two columns is 1.3 meter. And if the pressure of the gas in the bulb is 92,000, and the other side is open to the air at sea level, what is the density of the unknown fluid? Okay, let's, let's call this fluid a liquid X. Right, liquid X. Okay, now where is the where is the same pressure point? Same pressure point. Take this surface over here. A, we call it A, and draw a horizontal line over here is B. This point, they are same pressure point. So P A equals to P B. Okay. Now identify what pressure is acting at point A and what pressure is acting at point B. So point A is ATM. P ATM, only, this is only A column here, right? So only the P ATM. So point B, you have uh, at least 1.3 meter of liquid and also the gas. So equals to point pressure of gas plus pressure of the liquid X. Okay, pressure of liquid X. Now, after that, so P ATM equals to one times 10 power five, right? 1.505 equals to pressure of gas is already given. So 92,000 Pascal and plus pressure of liquid X is this one we put H rho G is actually equals to the weight of the liquid, right? You learn about this one, the buoyant force Archimedes principle, the pressure acting at point B by the liquid is actually equals to the weight of this liquid here. Okay, the weight of this 1.3 meters uh, of uh, column of liquid. Okay, so now put inside this one here. So H is 1.5, sorry, 1.3. So density, you don't know, and 9.8. So just find density from the equation. So density will be 1 times 10 power 5 minus 92,000 and then divided by 12.74. Okay, equals to six two eight kilogram per cubic meters. Okay, I'll give you some uh, two minutes to write down. Okay, 下个星期会在 Center Spy 二，呃，四点四十五，四点四点九个字开始。我会在 Remind 在那个 Group， OK， 四点四十五到六点四十五。
Okay, finish. Okay. Okay, next one. Look at this one. Okay, YouTube manometers. Now, this is slightly different uh, from the, the one just now. Okay, question one. Now, this one. The height of the water column shown below is 80 cm. What is the height of the oil column if the density of the oil is 700, 750? Okay, let's look at the diagram first. Now, this diagram, this one, it has two liquids. Just now, we only deal with one liquid, one type of liquid, just mercury. But this one, you have water and oil in a YouTube manometer. Okay, now, let me just highlight this one so you, you can see the difference here. So this is, let's... Okay. okay, now they meet at one point at the bottom, right? Okay, so this one, how do we find the height of the oil? We want to find this one, H. If the density given is 750, so it's the same, same way to do it. Okay, just now, what is our first step? We find where is the same pressure point, right? We find where is the same pressure point. Now, here is when the confusion lies okay now this point let me ask you something like this one this point if i plot point a here point a and then i draw a horizontal line is it the same pressure at point b does pressure uh, at a is the pressure at a same with the pressure at b okay no the answer is no not same why because you see there are two different liquids under underneath all right so you have oil and water together two liquids so you cannot take you cannot just assume pressure pressure at a is equal to pressure at b no cannot okay so what do we do what do we do the same pressure point lies at the bottom okay not point a not point b it is at the bottom over here if i draw a horizontal line at the bottom here over here okay so over here why over here because over here is like where the region where the, the liquid is mixed together okay so you can just you can like assume them as one but on top is like separated so it's completely different okay so at the bottom region here all right now so how do we write this this one so we write the pressure pressure we can write pressure left equals to the pressure on the right right side of the liquid like okay, left liquid like right liquid okay at the red line now the pressure of the oil what is the pressure uh, acting by the oil okay same we take here on the left side you have atmospheric don't always remember the atmospheric okay M many people make uh, mistakes is because they forgot about the atmospheric pressure once minor mistake one minor mistake will cause you to lose many marks if the question is like got a b c d e okay so a wrong then b wrong c wrong okay everything wrong now be careful with this one so opening here is the opening right opening always put at tm pressure this at tm pressure is pressing onto the oil so it's is contributing a pressure also okay and then the oil itself also has pressure acting on the the bottom point so pl the left pressure equals to p atm plus the p oil and p right equals to pressure atm so right you also have atm plus the pressure of the water h2o okay so i can cancel out the atm pressure i just cancel out cancel out so left P oil and P water. So H rho G 
equals to h rho g this is for water and this is for oil so i can cancel out the gravitation acceleration is a constant so that gives me the height of the oil and density of the oil equals to the height of the water times the density of the water okay so you get just put in the numbers here so the density of oil is given so 750 equals to and this one is uh, 0 0.8 and times 1000 density of water 1000 and the height of the oil column is 1.0 about 1.07 meter and this is the final answer so meaning that from the surface all the way to the bottom it's 1.0 Seven. Okay. Okay. So remember, we don't take uh, point A. Point A and point B is different pressure because the, the the there are two liquids underneath this line, underneath it. Okay, next question is question two. The YouTube manometer contains water on the right column and oil on the left. So let me just highlight this one. Uh, oil and you have this part is water. Okay, now, what is the density of the oil? What is the density of the oil? So, first step, find where is the equilibrium pressure point. Where is it? It can be at the bottom, yes. Or you can just take the surface of the water here, over here, the red line. Is this point same pressure? Let me just label if this is point A, This is point A and this is point B. Is the pressure at A and B same? Yes, it is the same. Why? Because you see underneath it is only one liquid. Okay, it's just water. So same liquid, so the pressure at A and B, they are the same. Okay, doesn't matter if you see this one, it doesn't matter how, how what is your shape of the container like this or like this or like this. If the same liquid is filled up in the container, the same type of liquid is just water, then at any point, this point and this point, A and B, as long as they are in the same level, they are the same. The pressure is the same. Okay? So same with this one. So if different liquid, then cannot, not same. Now, so from here, you know that PA equals to PB, same method, determine what is the pressure acting on point A, PATM and P oil, right? PATM and P oil. So PATM plus P oil equals to PATM plus, and this is a uh, pressure of the water. Okay, so this one. So ATM I just cancel and then that becomes H rho G, H rho G, right? Okay, just cancel this one. So the height of the oil is, oh, this one I forgot to label. Actually here, there's a 50 centimeter. 
Okay, forgot to put it in. 50 centimeter. So 50, 0 0.5, the height, and then you times the density is what you want to find, right? And then this one is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.15. So it's like 50 minus, minus out this one, then you get the height here. Okay, times 1000. Density equals to 700 kilometer per cubic meter. That's the final answer. Okay. I think 40 seconds left, I will create another link again.